Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video and I was tagged by Prue and this tag is Dirty Little Secrets and this is made by Kyra from Journey in Beauty. Uh, I will leave both channels down in the description and yeah, also the questions and then my, my hair. And I will just get started and this is questions. A question number one. What is the dirtiest most well-loved abuse product in your collection? And I don't have that many products that are super used because I got so much makeup and also I I don't clean my palettes but my palette doesn't get so dirty. I don't know how some people just succeeding to uh, so much dirt on their palettes and also until like a year ago I didn't use that much color and the makeup I used back then I don't use that much anymore so and I have taken some out of my collection so I don't have so many products that are so super well used but one thing I can mention is the Infinite palette by Linda Holberg this one I use every day because I use this shade for my eyebrows so that is it I, I don't know if you can see I don't think so it's a pretty big dent in it and also it's a big dent in this highlighter and in this one and this is kind of dirty it's not super dirty for me it's pretty dirty but not that much but the mirror is dirty as hell so this is my most used product in my collection for right now and the one that I use the most. Question number two. What is your dirty secret makeup habit you would never show on camera wouldn't want anyone to see? And this was so hard because I don't think I do anything that I can't show on camera. Like the only thing I cut out from a video is either when I'm just sitting quiet or I am just like <coughs> or I sneeze or anything. That's like the things that I cut out. I doesn't cut out when I do certain things so I don't think I am that dirty. Maybe sometimes I use my makeup sponge in my powder. Is that dirty? I don't know. I could show that on camera. I don't care. So I don't think I am that dirty if I'm going to be honest. I at least hope so. Question number three. What is a product you secretly want but others have cancelled the product or the brand? And it's a brush. I have wanted this for so long and it's a brush from Kat Von D. And a lot of people cancelled Kat Von D. I don't know where I stand if I'm going to be honest. But she has this double ended brush. It's like a contour brush and I can put up a picture but I want this I have wanted this brush for so freaking long. First, before all this cancelling Kat Von D, I thought it was too expensive. I still think it looks so good, but I'm not going to buy it. But it looks so freaking good. Question number four. What is a product that makes you feel guilty? For example, you don't use it enough, it's not cru cruelty free, etc. And I have a lot of things that I don't think I use enough um, but I it came down to one palette and that is the Moondust palette from Urban Decay. When I bought this I was like so freaking happy that I bought it. It looks like this. I haven't even used all the shades and uh, this is not the sheep palette. So every time I see it I'm like I, I don't even know why I bought it because I don't use glitter that much and I don't like glitter that much. So I have no idea why I bought this palette. But I can't get rid of it because I still want it for some reason. I don't know why. I have to use this more. I really, really do. So I always feel a little bit guilty when I see it. So I put it in a drawer so I don't have to see it. But I think I will put it on my makeup table. So I have to stare at it. And maybe use it. Question number five. What is a dirty makeup rule you break and don't give a hoot who knows? 
For example, keeping a mascara too long or using wet sponge in the pressed powder. Um, I think I have my mascaras for too long because they are. Some people say you're only going to have them for three months, and I am like, I don't wear mascara often enough to make it empty in three months, and I don't want to throw away just because it's gone three months. I use it as long as it smells as it should, and it works as it should. So I break that rule and I don't care if you know about it because, yeah. And also, I don't know who followed this, but like on every palette like this Linda Holberg, it is good for, it has shelf life for 24 months. I keep it a lot longer than that. If it still looks good, it doesn't smell, it hasn't changed the formula, I keep it. I, I don't believe that anybody keeps things as long as you should. And I don't care if you know about it. Question number six. What is the oldest product in your collection and just how old is it? And this was a little bit hard. I don't really know. I have sort out a lot of things like my first eyeshadow palettes and stuff. I declared that a long time ago. But I think the palette that is the oldest, and I have tried to declare this like four times, I can't get rid of it. It's the Naked 2. This was my first high-end palette. And some of the shadows are loose in this. It looks like this, if you don't know. I have had this for six years, I think it is. I think I bought it in London and I think I was there in 2013 but I think it is this one and I still can't get rid of it. I don't use it but it's like this was my first high-end makeup product. I love it so darn much so yeah and you can hear okay, if I take out the brush I think it's two shades that are loose in this but I can't get rid of it. I think I will keep this forever because it just reminds me of my first high-end purchase and I was so happy. I was so afraid that this was getting lost at the flight home. Um, so yeah, this is my oldest product I have. Question number seven. I like this question. What is your guilty pleasure YouTube channel you love to watch? And something I really, really love it's like this top 10 scariest pictures, top 10 weirdest conditions, top 10 most awkward photos. I love to watch these videos and I can get like stuck for hours and hours and hours. And my boyfriend is like, what the hell are you looking at? And I'm like, it's the five weirdest turtles. I got stuck in this, you know, like this top five or top ten weirdest, ugliest, awkward. I don't know, these videos I can watch forever. Question number eight. <laughs> Question number eight. Your worst makeup skill and or worst makeup face you went through. And my worst makeup face was between age 15 to 19. I looked like a raccoon without eyebrows. Only black around my eyes, mascara. And I was good to go. Question number nine. Name a product you would or do share with your bestie, but probably shouldn't or might be or might be considering considered gross. I don't mind to share like lip things with my friends. Maybe like a gloss. I'm okay with that. But I need to really know my friend. And the last question, question number 10. Do you have a secret weapon when it comes to makeup? And no. I do not. Some part of me still don't think that I can do makeup. I know that I can, but you have catch on my nose. I don't think that I am any better than like the normal, the normal people. So I don't have any secret weapon. Just do what the hell you want. 
don't care about color combos, don't care about makeup rules, don't care about what others think. Maybe that's not a secret weapon, but maybe secret mindset. Just stop caring about others and do what you think is fun. If it turns out great, it turns out great. If it doesn't turn out great, nothing will happen. And yeah, I think that was that for this <laughs> tag video. Thank you so much, Prue, for tagging me. I love doing tags, as you will see. I don't know which tag is coming up first, but I have done some more tags. Yes to no. So, thank you, tag... tag... Prue... <laughs> Thank you Prue for tagging me, this was such a fun tag and if you have a channel please do it and I will start to tag people I think, it's not really my thing, but I will tag some because I I just don't tag people but I think I will start with that so I'm going to tag some people down below that I want to do this tag but if I don't tag you do this tag and tell me so I can watch your video because I love to see people answer and I think this was a fun tag so I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye